Well, I've got my new car at last, so I'm back out in the landscape. Oh, and I'm back shooting digital as well, so everybody can just relax, okay? Well, it's autumn, it's cold, it's crisp, but I don't think we've got any classic autumn colours this year. It's a shame. Well, I'm in a location called Dolby Forest this morning, which is in the North Yorkshire Moors. Never been here before, and forests aren't necessarily the best place to shoot autumn. It's more woods than forests that you're going to get the best pictures. And with the car park being £9, I don't think I'll be coming back here very often. So I've come here to do the classic view of this location, which is the lake. There's a small lake here, and we have got really nice conditions. There's a little bit of a mist hanging around, and I'm just waiting for the light to come over the top of the trees to like the trees on the on the far side. So I've just really come here to check out this location for the first time, see if there are any autumn colours and to get this classic shot. Which is quite odd for me because I think my photography has changed over the years. I'm not really seeking those classic views anymore. Um, I'm not chasing the autumn colours. I'm not chasing any seasonal colours. I just go out and just take what's there. So autumn has always been my favourite time of year, but I don't go out seeking those colours, those classic shots anymore. I've just turned 50, which I know will shock a lot of you. I look a lot younger, don't I? But I think I've become more creative with my photography and I'm not seeking those classic views that I was doing back when I was shooting for magazines and photo libraries, etc., trying to get those classic shots that they wanted. I'm kind of getting the shots that I want to do these days. This location isn't necessarily ideal for the autumn colours, but I've always wanted to come here, so I'll just take whatever it has. And if that means missing the best autumn colours of this year from another location, yeah, I'm okay with that. But have you noticed there seem to be a lot of men around my age, around 50, doing YouTube videos these days, often men with beards. I'm not sure why that is. Wouldn't they rather just go out and shoot without the video camera? I guess I would if I didn't have my own reasons. I mean, who wants to be doing this all the time? Now, I've never been one to chase the sunrises and sunsets, the glory shots as I call them. Um, I've never been one to try and capture that big colourful sky. I much prefer the first hour or last hour, the golden hour, to light my landscape. I think when I want to capture my landscape, I don't want the sky to try and fight for attention with it. So I much prefer the first hour and the last hour of the day, we get a nice soft light, but it doesn't mean I won't shoot at any other time of the day, including midday. And this is something I discussed in my latest podcast and my E6 subscription of whether you should shoot only in the golden hour. So in a way, even this scene here this morning is a, a little bit too pretty for my liking. I prefer a darker, moodier, more creative shots. Not that you're going to get that here this morning. But that's kind of how I feel about sunrises and sunsets. If I hear someone say wow to one of my pictures when they see it, I'd be more proud that it may have been taken at midday rather than at sunset. And as perhaps a lot of photographers do take their pictures at sunrise and sunset, I do like to be different as well. But as for this shot here this morning, um, we've got this lovely mist hanging around the top of the water, but I would prefer the more of these trees to be sunlit, so I'm hoping the sun rises over the ones on the right here to, to light the trees. This reflection here um, is kind of lost in that dark area, but I can't move too far this way because I've got distractions in the foreground and also that little water hole that comes into shot. 
So I'm having to shoot through this clear patch, but I need some more light on those trees and hopefully to bring more colour into the, the uh, reflection over there. But you know, I'm not being too fussy. But it's a tricky one to expose for here because obviously you've got the brightness in the sky and brightness down here in the water, but very dark across the middle, which is why I want a little bit more light across there. So it's difficult to expose for. So what I'm actually doing at the moment is using two graduated filters, a 0.9 hard grad at the top for coming over the sky and a 0.6 upside down to filter the water. Hopefully that will balance this tricky scene out. But yes, I could expose your blend and put it all together in Photoshop, but where's the fun in that? So whilst this view is looking all very nice and pretty, and I've just added a polarizer just to boost the colors a bit, yeah, I could take it or leave it. So what this means is I'm not off to the Lake District this year to get those classic autumnal views. I'm not chasing the autumn colours this year. And even this week when we've had a bit of mist and fog early in the morning, I haven't gone off to the landscape or into the local woods. I actually went down my local graveyard to get some shots. So maybe I've reached a milestone in my photography and I'm not going after the same shots that I've been doing for the last 25 years as a professional photographer. Moving forward to the next 25 years, I think there's a change and I'm after something very different. Well, whilst I am here, I'm going to have a look around and see what other autumnal shots I can get, especially as the sun's gone behind the cloud now, so it's a little less contrasty in amongst the trees. Um, a little bit of added mist or fog. Wouldn't have gone amiss though. Now, not much autumn colour here, but just look how that light is catching that tree down there. Can you see it? Just that single one down there. And that's right up my street. Well, I've just clawed my way down the bank here off the road because there's another tree that's caught my eye just along from that first one. And this one has got a bit of autumn colour. You see that one there? Now there's two ways to capture this, see how close to the road I am. Uh, there's two ways to capture this. Um, I may contrast it with, I think it's this one here. This is a darker one, so that's catching all the light. That one's uh, darker. But you see the second one just about there? That one's catching the light. And, uh, or is it that one there? That one there, I think it's, it's just catching the light. And I'm undecided whether to have that one in the shot as well, because Again, I say it's catching the light, so there's, they're both fighting for attention there. 
It may work with them both because they're either side of that darker one, but I'm trying two shots, one slightly tighter where you have the, uh, the darker tree there balancing up that contrast. And then the wider shot with the two trees, both with highlight and see if they can work both highlighted, both uh, vying for attention in a single frame. But we'll take both and we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, that's such a corny shot these days. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So I'm really looking out for single trees or shapes within this wood. I don't want a, uh, a widespread of woodland autumn color as such. I'm, I'm singling single trees out. Um, they are few and far between, there's lots of green and then the odd single autumn tree will stand out just as this one here. And I like this one because not only has it got a little bit of autumn colour, but it's a nice shape. So I say, I'm looking for those shape. Then I've got to decide what shape the tree is creating. Do I want to have that tree if it's all about verticals, as that first shot was? So therefore I put it in a horizontal format because if you have lots of verticals within a, a vertical format, it's kind of a, a flat picture. So you've got to create a opposite. So here um, there's only two verticals and then there's a diagonal of the branches. So I'll put that in a horizontal format. It possibly could work vertical, but my initial view is to have it in a horizontal. So too many horizontals in a horizontal format equals a flat picture. Too many verticals in a vertical format, again, equals a very flat picture. So give it an opposite and change the format to suit the lines in the view. So as you can see, this is the only tree that stands out along this bit of trail. There's nothing on the way in and there's nothing I can see all the way down there. So it's just a single tree out of this whole forest that makes my shot, but that's enough. But here where there are only two verticals and the rest of the branches are in a more diagonal shape, I reckon we can get a vertical out of this one too. Well, I love the light at this time of year, but if that's the only colour I get for autumn for this year, I'll be happy with that. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video, which may or may not still be an autumnal one. <laughs>